Hi, in this next video, I'm going to show you a few functions within Google Sheets to kind of help you better organize your Google Form data. Uh, one of the biggest problems with Google Forms is when people will submit multiple times and then you end up with duplicates and then it's hard to get a count of what exactly you're looking for. Now, there are a few uh, functions that you can type in to help you get a better count of everything that you may be looking for. So, for example, here I have a very simple list of names of people as well as their lunch choices, whether they wanted a soup or a sandwich for lunch, let's say for an upcoming meeting. So what I see here in my Google Form list that people have submitted twice. So Chris submitted his order twice, Frank submitted his three times, Tony submitted his twice. So now I've got these duplicates in there and I don't know an exact count of what I want, especially if this is a very, very long list. There's a nice easy function. If you look uh, up here, I've started to type it already, you type in equals unique and then put parentheses and then for me I'm just going to put all of column A, put a colon and then all of column B. I want to make sure I get only the, uh, the singular responses. I don't want to get the multiple responses that I have there. And now you can see here um, it took away for example John or Chris's multiple responses and Frank's multiple responses as well as Tony's. So now I can see the exact count of what I need here. Now, this is a really long list. You might struggle to say, well, I don't know exactly how many soups, how many sandwiches I want, uh, and things like that. So another way you can get a count of that is with a different function that will be done. Uh, take a look up here. You'd want to type in COUNTIF, C-O-U-N-T-I-F, and then I'm just going to use the two columns that I have everything else, the non-duplicates in, and I'm going to type in E, colon, F, and I'm going to look for the name soup, or the word soup, excuse me. Now around the word that I'm looking for, I want to type in a um, quotation, uh, star, which is just shift eight. The word I'm looking for, uh, star, again, just shift eight, and then a, uh, a quotation mark again. And once I do that, um, the total that I need will come up here. And I want to do the same thing for sandwiches. And I want to take it from those same columns, E and F. And now you can see I have those total counts. Now the best part about this is, is as your Google Form populates, these numbers will uh, change as well. So for example here, let's just say Donna, uh, go ahead and signs up and she also wants soup. You can see soup comes up here, and the soup total will change from, from 3 to 4. Let's say Heather also signs up, and she wants a sandwich. So Heather comes up, sandwich, sandwich changes to, and so on and so forth. So you can see that those numbers will change, and now I can see how many total soups, how many total sandwiches I want, and I will get an accurate total despite the fact that I might have um, multiple people that have submitted more than once. I hope this was a help. Thank you very much.